Okay, I got a question today, uh, which was, um, what are the key areas where sellers are leaving money on the table? Like, how do I avoid leaving money on the table as a seller? I want to understand where sellers are leaving money on the table. Great question. So, number one, where they're leaving money on the table is that they're not doing the prep work on the front end uh, well enough. So, what's that prep work, right? The prep work is a making sure that they're pricing at or slightly below the market that's a very important thing the data shows us if you're at or slightly below the market you're going to sell within the first 30 days which is going to net you the most money because that's the goal after all so you need an agent that isn't going to be weak and is going to tell you the truth on what values are they need to understand value and making sure you're at or slightly below the market if you're above the market even two three four five percent you're going to leave money on the table I guarantee you the second area is they're not doing the prep work on the front end to really make the house shine uh, you don't have to break the bank here but you definitely have to polish the penny right you've got to clean you've got to declutter you've got to paint change some basic hardware if you don't do those little things you are leaving money on the table right this is money you should be putting in your pocket for you and your family so don't make that mistake the other area where people are leaving sellers are leaving money on the table is uh, they don't have an agent that knows how to negotiate right like all agents are not created equal some have no concept of how to negotiate they don't know how to extract value I know that I'm an agent and this sounds very self-serving, but it's the truth, right? If you don't have somebody that knows how to create leverage for you and negotiate for you, because that's really what you pay them to do is negotiate, you are leaving tens of thousands of dollars on the table, right? So you got to make sure that you have somebody that has the context and the information and the fortitude to negotiate hard for you, right? The other area where sellers are making are leaving money on the table is that they are not doing pre-inspections on their property, which is causing mm, unexpected home uh, um, inspection issues on the back end once the property is on, under contract, right? So there might be water in that crawl space, uh, space that freaks the buyer out. Nobody's been in the crawl space for a long time. If they discover it during the home inspection, Guess who has the leverage? Not you, the buyer has the leverage. So you're literally extracting dollars from your pocket by not doing some of this basic pre-inspection work on the front end, right? Same thing goes in the attic. I did a video on that before, making sure that you're like taking care of some of these problems before an inspection occurs, right? Before you actually go on the market to minimize that area. So those are some of the key areas that I see sellers are, are leaving money on the table uh, they rush to put it on the market and um, they don't understand how to create leverage or have an agent that shows them how to create leverage oh here's another big one sorry i almost forgot right they are not the either if they're trying to do it themselves or if they've selected somebody that isn't all that great at video and pictures and social media they are leaving money on the table because they're not getting the most exposure that possible right with technology today with social media and with video you have the ability to target your specific buyer and drive thousands of eyeballs to your listed property uh, which only increases the showings which only increases leverage for you as a seller and gets you a higher net number if somebody can't give you a really specific social media and advertising strategy around that you're leaving money on the table okay that's it for the day make it a great day as always if you have questions email me text me um, um, find me online and uh, happy to answer your questions take care